The CARE Court Law stands for Community Assistance, Recovery and Empowerment. It aims to give people with mental health and substance abuse disorders the support and care they need. And it goes into effect in two weeks. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. So who qualifies for help under this new law and what else does it entail? CBS 8's Ariana Cohen has the details. The state law care court passed last year goes into effect October 2nd. It's Governor Gavin Newsom's plan to get Californians in crisis off the streets and into housing, treatment, and care. San Diego is one of the first counties to adopt the law that allows people to suggest a loved one receive mental health care. How it works? A first responder, family member, or friend can file a petition on behalf of anyone they feel is suffering from a severe mental illness. Then a court officer decides if the person meets the eligibility criteria and the person undergoes a mental health evaluation within two weeks. The court holds a hearing to decide if the person should meet with a case manager and enroll in a care plan designed to help with their symptoms. I talked with Director of Behavioral Health Services for San Diego County, Dr. Luke Bergman. He stresses the process is voluntary. If they refuse two times, a judge can order it, but there are questions on on how or if that order will be enforced. He also says the services are restricted to those with schizophrenia and related disorders. So schizophrenia is is not one of the most common diagnoses that, that we see among you know all people with, with serious mental illness, certainly not among all people with behavioral health conditions generally. Um, and among uh, people experiencing homelessness. According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, less than 1% of adults in the U.S. have schizophrenia. Depression and anxiety are more common, but care court will not be offered for those diagnoses. So it's a narrow band of people. It is, you know, it is a program not designed to address the broader scope of needs across the, you know, the world of behavioral health and certainly the broader scope of needs at the nexus of behavioral health and homelessness. But that doesn't mean that it won't be useful. He says San Diego County estimates it will get 1,000 petitions in the first year and establish court-ordered treatment plans for 250 people. The remainder likely will either not qualify or agree to services voluntarily. And we are, we are very hopeful um, that this program may help some people develop care plans and see them through who wouldn't otherwise. Ariana Cohen, CBS 8.